Boris is in trouble yet again. He's going to increase national insurance in the UK. Conservative MPs are furious. Boris, they say, is unstoppable. He's said, deciding he's going to increase national insurance. What's the problem with that, you say? The social services and the health service needs the money. Okay, well, they do. Waiting queues have got higher in the UK. But here's the issue. Boris, in his election pledge, in the manifesto, the Conservatives signed it off said, I personally guarantee I will not increase national insurance, VAT or income tax, but he's set to increase national insurance. And of course, the voters may decide to turn against Boris if he increases national insurance, having promised not to do so. Of course, everybody realises that the health service needs more money, needs more funding. The argument is, should it come from the national insurance costs? Lots of people say it shouldn't. And Rishi Sunik, the Chancellor, is one of those. He says it will help, it won't help the economy, it will stall the economy. Why? Because it affects the lower pay. It affects the lower pay, and they'll be losing a percentage of their income. 1.25% extra on national insurance is a massive extra tax. Of course, it affects companies as well, and their wish to employ people because the national insurance bill goes up. Okay, should the Conservatives stick to their election pledge? Should they do what they said they were going to do? And that is no increases in tax on VAT, income tax and national insurance. In other words, should they find another way of funding the National Health Service and the social care that's so badly needed?